All right. Pocket signals intelligence slash drone interception kit. All right. <clears throat> first things first. There's a lot of conversation to be had about detecting drones, awareness of drones. Like, all right, cool. Need to figure out first the target frequencies that they're operating on. So I've got them listed up here, 433, 900 megahertz, 915, 2.4 gigahertz, 5.8 gigahertz. All right. You have to be able to find a target first, learn how to recognize the target before you can do anything else. All right. All this information, by the way, is contained in Gorilla's Guide to Signals Intelligence, which I wrote a year ago, almost exactly a year ago. And uh, you can get it on rushfeeder.store or amazon.com. Right, so let's take a look at what else we've got here. All right. Spectrum Analyzer. Bam. All right, let's talk about this. So. What a spectrum analyzer does, what it is. Get a good image in there. All right, what are we doing with this thing? Whenever something transmits, you set the, let's set this thing up here. All right, you set the, the screen is just not gonna cooperate with me. There we go, there we go. All right. <clears throat> you set the parameters for which it is scanning. It looks at an entire bandwidth, all right? So you're, you're literally seeing an entire bandwidth here. That's indicated down at the bottom. This one, I think, is uh, 100 megahertz to 800 megahertz is what this is set to. It's a factory default. Um, got this unit back from a customer who ordered it, sent it back like four months later, said, I can't get this thing to work. Yeah, uh, retard. You fucking fuck the screen up. But I've been using it. It works just fine. Anyway, and yes, I did call him a retard. And yes, I did tell him that. All right. Got a radio here. Balfang 152. Watch. I transmit, and you will see a spike. Right, you see that spike? Up at the top where it says 154.7. That's transmitting. All right. Bam. There you go. So literally anything, you'll see these little spikes down at the bottom. Literally anything that is transmitting in that frequency range, which it is monitoring, it's going to show you on the screen. All right. Up top, you get your little water wheel. You can move back and forth when you, you know, you've got a flag on it and it'll tell you up top what it's detecting. 760 megahertz or so that's a railroad band um, not too far from a rail terminal and that's what it's picking up all right um, so anyway how to turn this thing into a drone scanner another thing i want to uh, point out real quick a little patrolling tip notice i write this on cardboard it's the original right in the rain paper i used to carry uh grg's Used to carry them in my right pocket whenever we were surveilling targets. Have your GRG there, duct tape it on a piece of cardboard. You read it at night. I know exactly what it is I'm pulling out. That and a Sharpie or a map marker. Anyway, uh, a couple things I want to point out here. Uh, 433 megahertz and 915. We could add 868 into this, not for drone awareness, but for mesh networking. So all you cats out there that think you're so cool, you're mesh networking. Oh, it's encrypted. You can't detect me. Yeah, I can. With this. Bam. Got you. Anyway, uh, drone detection. So we're not really going to focus on these too much because we can already pull that up here. But uh, 2.4 to 5.8 gigs. We're going to pull our menu up. And let's say, let's go back to the first menu. So your default menu here, right? 
we're going to want to hit configure because this is a touch screen device. Uh, when you pull this out of the box, you're going to want to calibrate it. This has already been calibrated. All right. Enable Ultra. It'll give you that code. All right. The code. I'm about to give it all to you. It's top secret. SCI information. Four, three, two, one. Enter. There we go. Now we're in ultra mode. I don't, what this is going to do is it allows you to monitor up to 10 gigahertz. So uh, if you're mapping out Wi-Fi networks, there you go. It's very valuable for that. Um, detecting bugs. There's a lot of bugs that are installed these days for technical surveillance or uh, what we call TSDs, technical surveillance devices that are in the Wi-Fi range. Anyway, now we have that. All right, setting parameters. So let's go back, go back. Now we are gonna hit frequency, all right? You have your start frequency and we're gonna say 2.3. G is gigahertz, M is megahertz, K is kilohertz. All right, so we want, all right, so I said 2.3 gigahertz. All right, now that was our start. Let's hit our stop, 2.5 gigahertz. All right, so now we're literally monitoring 2.3 to 2.5. Now, antenna right here. This is just a little uh, stubby antenna, right? It's tuned for uh, VHF and UHF on, uh, you know, Baofeng or uh, Anytone 868, whatever, right? What I'm using here, what I have here is a Yagi, and this is specifically built for direction-finding drones. So I have an omnidirectional antenna here. I would put this up and then as soon as I am detecting something, right, let's say I'm out in the field, I'm in a listening post, I detect the presence of a drone, I'm going to go on and hook this up and then begin direction finding. And depending on what frequency it's in, if it's in 433, I could jam it with this. If not, I've got other devices that I could exploit. All right? Exploitation is just drone jamming. Anyway, um, quick video on that. I've written articles on it. If you want to learn more, step-by-step -step guide on this, the Gorilla's Guide to Signals Intelligence. Thanks.